Hi everybody, Holly here. You know, it's been a while since I've done one of these spiritual awakening videos and I just had something that came up in a client session the other day that I wanted to share about manifestation. And um, I'm a huge Abraham Hicks fan and a lot of Abraham's work is around this topic of manifestation. But I think something, a subtle and very deep aspect to manifestation is actually rarely talked about, even with Abraham. It is talked about, but rarely talked about. And it's this understanding of what's actually happening during manifestation. Now, I love to play with manifestation as a way to play with the higher self. What a cool way to connect with higher self is through uh, the play of manifestation, manifesting things or or um, experiences or even emotions or even manifesting time. I've talked about that a little bit before. You can contract and expand time and be a manifester of time. So how cool is that? So all kinds of different ways to manifest and that can be a fantastic way to play with higher with the higher self and uh, have that connection and have that activity together. One of the things that Abraham talks a lot about with Abraham Hicks' work um, is being in the vortex and how your state of being, your vibrational being is so important to what you resonate with and what you're attracted to. Yeah, okay. So got that, you wanna be in the vortex. If you wanna really manifest something, you wanna have, you wanna have done your homework and know what you want, what you really want, not what you think you want or not what you've been told you should want, but what you really want. And then you wanna tap into that emotion of having already arrived at that manifestation. However that manifestation is gonna make you feel, whether it's at peace or excited or safe or fulfilled or whatever, okay? So we're gonna be in a resonant state of whatever it is we wanna man manifest. Basic Abraham Hicks, strongly encourage you to go watch everything you could possibly watch on Abraham Hicks. All of this is really, really important to practice. So I won't go into it there. There's, a, there's enough said about that. But I think the one thing that is often not discussed is what's actually happening, the mechanics of what's happening here in the quantum field as we manifest something. So let's say that you are, you've, you've done your homework, you know what you want to manifest, um, you've arrived at the emotional state, the resonant vibrational frequency that's in alignment with whatever it is that you want. And, and so now you're moving forward knowing that that manifestation is coming to you. I like to use this visual description of what's actually happening now in that moment. So all the pre-work's done, all of the, the, um, the preparatory actions are taken, and now we come to the moment of actual manifestation. And this is what I have come to understand that's happening. And I use this visual image as I'm explaining this to clients in their higher self integration program. More about that below if you want, if you want anything about that. But I often work with clients in this regard. And the way I explain it to them is imagine that you're on the ocean, the open ocean, not close to shore, but like you're on a big ship or a boat way out in the ocean. And if you if you've ever been there, then you know that there's all kinds of little tiny waves all over the ocean. It's never perfectly still. It's always there's these little perturbations all over different waves going in different directions, no rhythm, no just randomly um, arising on the surface of the ocean. And I like to think about all those little waves as the potentiality of all universes that exist in the now. All, pers all possible circumstances aligned with what you're manifesting already exist. They're like all those millions and millions and millions of waves all over the surface of the ocean. 
And as you manifest, what you're actually doing is you're causing your consciousness to surf on one of those waves with the resonant frequency of that wave. And I can surf this wave, and then I can decide to surf that, surf that wave over there, and then maybe later I'll surf a different wave. And as I'm moving my consciousness into these different potentialities that all always exist, okay, if I'm surfing this wave, well, none of the other waves disappeared. All of those potentialities are still there. And then when I decide to get off of that wave and surf this wave, all of those other waves still exist. Nothing happened to them. And then as I decide to surf this wave, all of the other waves still exist. Nothing happened to them. All of the potentialities always exist. And so when we're manifesting, it's not that we're changing the outer world. It's not like that thing arrived at us. It's that we are moving our consciousness in a way that causes our consciousness to then surf, experience, that potentiality that was already there. And then if we choose a different manifestation, it's not like any of the other potentialities went anywhere. It's just that our consciousness has decided to then surf that new potentiality. So when we say that we're in a resonant frequency that's aligned with what we want to manifest, what that actually means is that we're moving our consciousness, and that's all we are, is consciousness wrapped in a monkey suit. We're moving our consciousness to surf a different potentiality that was already out there. It already existed. And just because we choose to serve that potentiality doesn't mean that any of the other potentialities disappeared. All of the millions and millions and infinite number of potentialities of every moment of your life exists in the now and will continue to exist. And what manifestation actually is, is your, your choice, your intention to serve one of those specific potentialities. And you can serve any potentiality you want at any time. All you have to do is in, be in a resonant frequency with that potentiality. Complex stuff, complicated stuff about manifestation, but so exciting and so interesting. And thank you for listening, and I'm glad to share this with you.